I was exposed to foreign languages at a pretty early age. As a Jewish kid in New York, I was sent off to Hebrew school, so Hebrew was actually my first foreign language. Later on, I studied Latin and a little bit of French and some German. And I actually was a U.S. Peace Corps volunteer in Malaysia teaching mathematics in the Malay language. The ability to communicate with someone who doesn't speak English in their language was just a great joy for me. So. When I did decide to do my grad work, I decided that it would be in linguistics. I realized that every language is a unique window on the world. One of the great strokes of luck in my life is that a friend of mine in the linguistics department at USC, Ed Finnegan, forwarded me an email asking for a linguist who could develop a language for a science fiction film. When I saw it, I absolutely jumped on it. I said, I really want this. And I was given the opportunity for an interview in James Cameron's office. He talked to me about his vision for the film, about what he thought the language should be. And at the end, we both stood up, he shook hands with me and said, welcome aboard. And my life has not been the same ever since. Unil Terantok. How's your not Alve ut ario the first actual step in constructing the language was to determine the sounds and the sound system. The consonants and the vowels and the pseudo-vowels and the diphthongs sounds like p, t, k, m, n, ng, p, a, and t, u, and e. So once you do that, then you're ready to begin morphology and syntax. F, a, k, m. Being part of the Avatar experience was utterly fascinating and tremendously exciting to me. Definitely part of my job was to teach Navi to the actors. And I'd say things like, you know, that was really good, but remember the vowel at the end of that word is not a, ah, it's a. Ah. Sometimes the actor was very receptive to that. Sometimes they saw me coming and ran the other way because they had other things to think about. Navi. Nari. 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 By and large, I think things turned out pretty well. Hearing the language that I had come up with on the screen in the final version of the film was, as you might imagine, a very special feeling. But in a sense, what's happened to Navi post Avatar is, at least for me, maybe the most exciting thing of all. It's a semikyun koput. People are actually using it for genuine communication. There are a couple of instances of Navi learners in different parts of the world who don't share any other common language except Navi. So, I mean, that's something I frankly did not anticipate. And at this point, I'm working very closely with the community to develop the language for it. Listen, always, always. I get long emails written to me entirely in Navi to get people fired up about the wonders of language, whether it's human language or whether it's language of the Navi, I am I'm, I'm just tickled. <laughs>